Guys, Deluded Guna, good morning, was just about to make my breakfast and continue my day when, yes, you guessed it, I had to bring you guys some other news. It was quite upsetting, not really upsetting, but Dan Crowley, allegedly, he's in he's in Holland to complete a move to, it might be pronounced differently, but William, William FC, I'm just going to call it that, yeah, the, the Dutch club, allegedly is about to sign a three-year deal. We know last year he went on loan there, I mean, not there, but he went on loan to Holland, I think it was Go, e Go Ahead Eagles or something like that. They were fighting relegation, and he had a good what um he had a good he had a good spell there. Sixteen appearances, two goals, but he he earned some rave reviews, and he became a real fan favorite. He learned how to fight to get results. They were fighting relegation, and yeah, it was a positive loan spell for him. But yeah, he seems to want to go back to Holland and sign and sign a new and a new deal out there. He's, he's decided that that's the best place for his development. Allegedly, Hanover of, of Germany and a couple of German clubs are in for him. A couple of English clubs are in for him, mainly Fulham and Brighton. But yeah, he's chose to go out there, and I and I I do understand that. Like I've told you guys before, he's a very technical player. I do believe he needs to just be given a platform and a team built around him, and in a team that plays more more um technical football, which he's getting in Holland. He's a player that the game com the game can pass him in England in that when the young players go on loan to League One to championship it's mainly about fighting fighting for the results you need to instantly sink or swim you need to instantly swim because it's all fine and dandy youth development but the the managers that the club that that, are, that these players are loaned to they have their own initiatives they're fighting for their own jobs they have to fight they haven't really got time to pander towards um other players that's why you saw mixed success at oxford in his oxford loan spell he was playing at the start and then he was dropped out of it via a, a mixture of attitude and not doing what's required barnsley the same he had a, he, he showed promise there he showed promise in a lot of his youth games at Arsenal and it's like sad that he hasn't made an appearance. But yeah, he went to Holland and it was positive and yeah, somewhat, yeah, like I say, he just needs pl a platform and trust and somewhere he can build and develop and he's 19, he's going to turn 20 in August, signing a three-year deal in, in, in Holland. He'll be 23, still relatively young, ready to come and, and try something in the Premier League. He said he'll be a Premier League footballer who believes in himself. I've told you guys this before, I'll put my other video about Dan Crowley and the Crowley in the in the description because i don't want to go over the same po um, points but yeah he, he didn't go he's got a year left on his deal he's 19 20 he hasn't made an appearance like i've just said he's seeing players ahead, um getting rated more than them you see maitland nows and co go on the tour he didn't go on the tour he didn't go on tour last year if i remember rightly he hasn't been on tour since the, um two years ago the manager has concerns about him being too lightweight and things like that so yeah it's a melting pot at Arsenal, you're seeing Kalen Hi Hines went to Wolfsburg, Crowley's now leaving, Serge Gnabry's left and he hasn't looked back and he's joined by Munich, Willett's gone to Benfica, there's, there's these sort of things happen, but in regards to the people in front of him, you could argue of course Maitland Niles is in front of, ahead of Crowley, Zalalem has a claim for that even though his career is a bit in limbo as well, when you consider the injury as well, Awobi when you consider he can be moved inside, um, Rene Adelaide the same, um, Daniel Malin, even on the basis that Crowley can be shifted out wide, him too, he's gone on tour, Josh De Silva, who Wenger seems to quietly rate, I don't know how, how much and if he gets appearances, but on the basis that he was on the bench for the first team, Crowley hasn't even accomplished that, the same goes for Ben Chief, so there's a lot of, there's a lot of players like that, he's a player I do like, I have a lot of time for, because he, on his day, Great, great um, dribbling ability, great pass in the link-up play, set-piece specialist. There's concerns about his attitude, and, and that's fair. I mean, I, I don't work with him, and if coaches are saying I don't work with him, then fair enough. But I think he's got superb attitude. He's shown immense courage to go in and live by himself in Holland and make a success of himself. He's shown courage to deal to deal with, with everything that comes with being a player. We know in England they build you up to to make you fall down. It's a shame, of course, because when he came from Villa, he had a, he had, it was highly rated, one of the um, best, best prospects in the country. If you watched him for England's under-19s when he was at Oshie, he thought this guy would get chances. But it hasn't. It, sadly, it, 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 just, it just hasn't happened. And, yeah, there are some benefits to this, though. I mean... He gets to he gets to have a point to prove, so that naturally is going to make your appearances be better because you want to prove to everyone that you're not this failed wonder kid and and things like that. He's out of the spotlight. We know in England, you have a good game, you're a wonder kid. You your badge, you're overrated, and you'll never make it. He's out. He's out of that. He's he's been watched very well, watched by everyone since he was 15. He's out of that. He can develop in relatively quiet and secluded surroundings and develop and, and, and bulk up and, and, and just damn right become a better footballer. He can stay away from those that say he has an attitude problem and he has this and he has that. They say he has an attitude problem, but he's one of the first players to, when someone's in help that needs um surgery or some sort of financial aid, he's the first one to retweet and raise awareness. The same goes for child's with children with illnesses. He's the first one to, to help with charities. He's shown bravery, like I've said. 
He he he's, he said that he, he's learnt from his mistakes. He's someone where like you guys know me. Whether you make it at Arsenal or not, if I like you as a player, I want you to do the best. And it will be a kick in the teeth him not going to Australia. He's seeing players near um, near his age group and young players. They're getting chances. Of course, if he had his way, he'd want to make it at Arsenal. He wouldn't. But it, that's not the way the cookie crumbles. He's a realness, and I rate him. Most players would 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 fight to the death not to. To not not to leave Arsenal to keep this thing continuing until their contracts literally run out at Arsenal and at every top club you can be there but not there in the sense that you're constantly loaned out you'll come and train pre-season but yeah he's shown courage he wants to t hand control his own destiny he wants to handle his own fate I don't know whether we often offered him a new deal or not I doubt we did because it's not going the way we need it to go but it's a sad it's a sad case I rate him because he said he doesn't want to stay for the sake of it so Credit to him. Credit to him for escaping the melting pot. I wish more players would do this. Credit to Kalen Hines for doing his for seeing for seeing his his career going another way and seeing that there might be more chances somewhere else. Chris Willock, of course, that one hurts, but the same for him. You cannot begrudge a player for wanting to just ultimately make it as a professional football at the top um, as a footballer at the top level. So yeah, while it hurts, I'd rate him. And yeah, guys, that's just it. I just thought I'd give you guys. The low down the scoop if you don't know already. He seems like he's leaving. He apparently he's there. It's good enough, it's done. So yeah, benefit. It does free up spaces for the um, younger players and things like that to, to to make their mark and stuff like that. But yeah, it's upsetting. Hopefully we can make our initial investment on the guy back. I'm pretty sure that deal must have from, from Villa must have included a lot of add-ons. But if we can get a couple thousand and break even then then it's all over. Then really, there's not much more to say on that front, guys. Deluded good. I'm signing out. Enjoy your day. Good morning, guys. Latest news. I thought I'd just bring you guys. Dan Crowley looks set to leave. Comment, subscribe. Yeah.